Okay, speed controller. Oh my gosh, that's like the last thing, isn't it? I mean, not counting floorboards and junk like that. Okay, let's just see how my battery's doing. You know what? The amperage keeps going up and down. I think that's because the battery's full. So I've got two fully charged batteries. That means, ooh, I can use them pretty soon. Okay, but I gotta get the speed, yeah, the speed controller connected. And if I remember right, I stuck the, oh no, I glued this shut with paint. There we go. Put the speed controller in here. Yeah, there it is. Great. Okay, I did confirm this thing was functioning recently. And this is the battery positive. I might want a fatter wire for that. Battery negative goes to here. And then this stuff, just nothing. And this is the motor. The motor negative, and I think this is the motor positive. I'm definitely going to need a longer wire than that. Um, and then, okay, I'll have to mount the switch somewhere accessible and the throttle somewhere accessible. Right. Uh, I guess I should go check what size wires I'm going to need. This might be good enough, maybe. I guess I should draw out the little schematic and make sure I get all the wires in the right places, too. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. All right, it's got all the stuff. Okay. And then the thing... Where's the motor positive? Oh, it connects right to the battery positive and the motor positive. Okay, right. All right, I got about 50 amps going here. Could be up to 60, probably more like 50 though. Uh, so six gauge wire should be fine. That'll get me up to five meters, 15 feet. Yeah, the wires aren't going to be any longer than that, I don't think. I don't know, about that long, maybe, at the max. All right, six gauge wire should be fine. All right, let me go through this step by step so it doesn't get confusing. A lot of wires all over the place. I want to mount this thing under here, but raised up a little bit, just in case there's any water in here. And on the same thing where this goes, I want to have like two copper strips. One for all the positives and one for all the negatives. No matter which side it goes on. Well, I guess this can go on that side. And then the positive and negatives can go on this side. And then the battery will be there. And the battery positive and negatives can come into that. The ones from the other battery can come into that. And then the ones from here can come into that. I mean... I'm basically doing that so I don't end up with like a huge pile of stuff bolted onto the end of this battery. So each battery will just have one wire coming off it and then they'll have... Okay, so I need something to... Something that'll fit under here that'll raise it up a little bit. Well, it's not the prettiest thing in the world, but it will totally do the job. Great. This used to have some kind of mounting hardware stuff, but uh, I don't have it anymore. So I'm gonna have to, you know what? Why don't I just zip tie around this entire thing? That'll be totally fine. Yeah, that's fine. Well, it's kind of a silly way to attach it there, but it'll work. Maybe I should put a second one here. Do I wanna waste it? You know what? I've had this bag of zip ties for like 10 years. May as well use them. Okay, now what? All right, this goes to the battery positive, I believe, which I need to, I need to put a positive and a negative or a negative and a positive here. I could use two strips of copper, just mashed copper pipe, or I could just put a big bolt and another big bolt and just stack everything on, which is totally fine. I'm just gonna do that. All right, I just need two holes, one for a positive, one for a negative, and then get a pair of bolts and nuts that are like this size but longer. Yeah. Okay, that seems like a lot of stuff for what I'm doing right now. But I want to have a washer at the bottom and then above. And the bottom and the bottom of that. And then I want to put a nut so that I can lock it in place. And then I want another washer and then I can put all my electrical crap. Oh no, wait, I also want a lock washer in there to keep some spring pressure on all the electrical contacts. 
then finally at the top, another washer and a nut. Okay. <gasps> oh, crap. I brought a lock nut. Oh, I got to switch that one. <sighs> well, it seems silly to use so many nuts. Like to use a whole nut right on top of here just to hold the bolt in place. And I'm going to be losing all that space of the nut and everything. So I cut a nut in half with a hacksaw. So, now, get out of here, Ant. What are you doing? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. There we go. I can put all my electrical connectors and put a, another washer and a nut on top. Should be able to put lots of stuff on there. Okay, which is which? I don't know. There, this one's positive. Okay, that's good. Okay, positive battery connection there. Negative battery connection goes from right here to there. I need to make a wire, a nice fat wire, to go from there to there. Okay, right, negative cable there. Very good. Let's get this in place without dropping anything in the water. Okay, I think everything's connected correctly. All my negatives here, all my positives here. I didn't have different colored six gauge wire, so all my positive and negatives for a bunch of things are white. So these ones are just, what's it called? Permanent markered black ends and black lines on them. So those are the negatives. And then the ones that are just plain white, that's the positives. Okay, that's everything that connects to the batteries. And if the batteries were backwards, this would all be on fire right now. So I think I got that right. Uh, I think I can chain, connect my charge controller wires, which are connected there and there. Yeah, I can go up and connect them. Yeah, these guys. I disconnected them from the thing while I was messing around, you know, because I don't want to accidentally break the thing. But everything looks good, so I can... I'm going to need both hands for this. Go away. Oh, all right, I think I've got everything connected here. Even connected this up here. Steering wheel doesn't hit it. Very good. And still have to mount this, but everything should... Oh, good. And if I turn this... Oh! Let's take a look at that. Oh. oh, that's a good thing to hear. And I don't have reverse connected yet, do I? Nope. All right, to connect reverse, you need to connect a wire from here to there, and then from here to there. Because it's just got to, just has to crisscross. So that, so it was backwards. Oh yeah, well, I guess I'm gonna, well, okay, let me figure out where this thing goes first. Where do I put this switch? I have to put it in a place that it's not gonna get smashed when I put the, the piece in under here. So like, you know, that hole's no good anymore. Maybe, maybe I can put it back here or maybe just higher. I think it okay, I think the switch goes back here. And I just put some kind of little protective covering, so maybe I have to stick my thumb up and then switch it. Um, that way, if any water happens to get here, rain or anything, the switch will not get wet. Right. I think that sounds good. All right. Ooh, got it in there. Nice. Yeah, that was a lot of filing. <laughs> All right, just have to connect these two wires on the other side there. Nice. Okay, now what protects it? 
you come up with some kind of covery thing. I also want to protect it from the other side. Just something, put something like right here, but on the other side. So when I put my my metal thing here to protect this area, I don't accidentally hit it. All right, switch. I think I can just rivet this right in here to protect it. Whoa, look at that! Oh, yep. Beauty! This is just the end of a PVC pipe. I cut it at an angle and then melted it with a candle to flare it out. And uh, I got reverse connected. Let's turn it on. totally ready to drive except the tide is so low there's no way I can get the boat out right now <laughs> Looks like I'll clean up my tools oh that is exciting this guy is totally ready to go and I am starving I better go make some food I wonder when the tide will come up might be able to pull it out for a quick test later today. I don't know, it's already afternoon. I think it's like three. So tomorrow morning, the tide will be high. So I parked that boat in a really shallow spot. So a lot of the time it would be completely out of the water. So it wouldn't grow barnacles on the bottom. So if I'm gonna start driving it more now, I may have to switch its parking spot with the other boat. And oh, you know what, I need to go to town soon to get more food ah that would be stupid to test drive it first test all the way to town and back no i need to drive it around here for like a week or two first to make sure like 90 percent chance everything will work fine but you know you never know when there's going to be some little bug or something i missed or i don't know all right i gotta go get some food oh i need to jump in the ocean i'm all hot and sweaty 